and begin. This is just a, a quick tutorial. I thought it'd be easier to actually just talk and show you it than um, in an email. And using the fancy internet and the uh, YouTube and all the rest of it for a little video together and uh, explain it. Um, so you want to record your voice, put it onto a CD for Mum Plus Two. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, in the email, you'll send. A, I'll have sent a link to uh, a program called Audacity. Um, if you open it up, which I'll do now, you should see a site. It'd be audacity.soundforge.net. You see this website. Uh, if you hit the download here, click on that, and then there's a recommended download which is for Windows XP, which you've got. So click that, and you should be sent to this website, which is Soundforge, Soundforge Projects. And this little window should appear, and save file and it'll save it to your desktop. Okay, uh, let me just get to it. You should have the program here, this is Audacity. Install it. Welcome. Next. Usual legal month. Next, next. Program files, it's fine. Desktop, associate, it's fine. Install. Oh, it's fast. And launch at the same time when you finish. Yeah. And you'll be presented by this program, Audacity. Uh, I'll give you a quick intro to a very simple program. Uh, make sure it's on microphone and choose what input. Where you're using, going to be using headphones, so make sure that's ticked. Um, I don't think I'll be able to record my voice because I'm recording this at the same time, but I'll give it a go, see what happens. And what will happen is you hit record and it'll create a new um, track here and your voice should appear. Let's see if I can do that. It might say um, device in use, but we'll see. Oh, no, there it is. As you can see, my voice is being recorded. Let's watch it pop up. Boop! Boop! There we go, you see? So that's your voice getting recorded there. And you'll see volume up here. I probably talk really loud! And I talk very quiet. Uh, once you're happy with all that, hit stop. There it is. And you can use... Uh, sorry, zoom up. You can use these zoom in and zoom out. And you'll see this change. And there's your voice. You can then select part of it just by left clicking and dragging. And then you can drag the bits at the end. Uh, so if you make a mistake at the top or there's a bit of silence, you can. Uh, and you can play it back. That's me waffling on. And There it is. And you, once you have it, and you can cut bits out, so there's a big silence, there's a bit of me doing those beep noises. If I wanted to get rid of them, I can edit and delete, I think. Now you see it's disappeared. So you can clean it up and make your audio nice and clear and so forth and trim it. If you, if you want to get rid of it, just hit the X button there and do another one. There's a second one. This is going to be a lot better than the first one, and so on. Exactly. And just hit stop once you've uh, again trim and so forth and just have a play around if it if it breaks or you get it wrong, hit exit and start again. So you've got this file and you are very happy with it and it's exactly what you want it to do. So you want to save it out, so we're gonna file export as a WAV file or WAV file. This is gonna be it creates a large file, but um, probably the best because it's easiest to then burn to a CD because it's just an uncompressed audio file. So we're going to save all as, not selection, but just save all of it out as. Um, desktop if you want, it's fine. And do, and we'll call it audio test dot wav. It's wav format, save. And that's it, done. So once we've finished, it's a file exit. Save changes. You might want to save this and come back to it later. If not, if you do, save it. If you're not, it's fine. And there we are. This might icon look, might look different to you, but it's dot on audio WAV file. And then we can open. Oh, let me check. It's, it's not very big. Yours might be a lot bigger if you if you record for a long time. It might get very big. So if you open it up, um, I've got a play. 
don't know if you can hear that, but it's playing and seven seconds long, that's my audio. Um, so the next stage is to burn it to a CD. So I'm going to go to Nero. Um, you should have a burn CD option up here. But, oh, that's very fast. I'll slow it down a bit. Um, we'll cancel and show you what to do. So you open Nero and we're going to create a new, a new audio CD. So you go to New. And in, make sure it's on CD, not an audio CD. Um, you can put some details in here. Remember, it's on audio CD. And put some details, but we don't need that. You just go to new. It's fine. And on this side of the program, you'll get the track and the title and duration. Remember, it's I think 74 minutes for a CD. And on the right-hand side you'll get your desktop and your files. So if you go to desktop, my audio test should be there. Just click, drag, drop. It'll send some time converting it over and then there you'll see your track test. Once you're happy with that, and you've, you can add as many as you want, so you could actually have five or six tracks, which one can skip or, you know. And then click burn. Um, right, finalize, it's fine. Hit burn, make sure there's a blank disc in, and away you go. And that's how you record your voice and burn this disc. If you've got any questions, just give us a call. Hope you enjoy this, it's quite fun to make. And that's it. Enjoy. <laughs>